the last step of making the fermentation cloth is to trim your lid that you had thrown. Um, Judy wasn't here, so we don't have any banter because you guys all needed to see the lid because you were kind of ready to do your project. So once I trimmed it, I added a coil that will become the foot so that you can actually set the lid on the rim. And I just did slip and score and attach it. And then I'll push it down with a sponge. And that pretty much attaches it. And then I'll actually just throw it as an individual piece. So I'm trying to create a foot that the bowl can sit on when you turn it over. Once I feel like I've got it attached, then I'll do a pull or two. And then if I need to finesse it, I'll get out my little trimming tool and just adjust it so it flares out a little bit. And that's pretty much about it for the lid. I'm just gonna, I'm just kind of doing a little finessing to get it to look exactly the way I want it to. I did a little design on the inside just to add some interest with the glaze. So as you can see, it'll just sit right on that rim when you take it off the fermentation crop and you can just put some vegetables in there if you want to just serve from that. So the last thing for the crock is to just put on handles and I just rolled out some lugs and textured them and then just slipped and scored them and stuck them on the jar so that it's easy to grab them when you're moving the pot around in your kitchen. And you know, you don't have to do this kind of handle. You can do any kind of handle you want. It's just kind of nice to have something you can put your hands under to move it around because it is kind of heavy once you add all your vegetables. And that's about it.